Oh, there's a lady with a question mark on her head. How strange. What's the matter? The Shago Fem flowers is only supposedly to, only supposed to open during the rainy season, and yet, look, they're already in full bloom. That sound, pr sounds pretty weird. I know, right? I wonder if someone's been coming here and watering the ground or something. Would just would just that be enough to make the flowers bloom? Another cause for flowers blooming early could be an imbalance in the air. So you're saying that this place... It's okay, Estelle. If I guess it's right, this level of air imbalance can occasionally be found in nature. Plants are simply more sensitive to changes in the surrounding air than humans, and are reacting to that. We wouldn't want to have what happened in Hellyard happen in here. What the? Judy? Wow, the warehouse's aeroblastia is... I can't believe that Dragon Freak would do with this again. I'm gonna go see. Oh, Rita. Dragon Freak, huh? What's all this commotion about? Uh, it wasn't you? I plead the fifth. It was terrible. There was nothing left for me to fix. I'm sorry for your loss. Erg, the next time I see that freak, I'm going to punch him into the stratosphere. Stupid dragon freak. Whoa, scary. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... It's not causing any of you any trouble, is it? I already told you. I'm not going to do anything that would cause any of you harm. Oh, it's you all. We meet again. So what's a successor to the Imperial Throne doing in a place like this? I've been working with the Dawn to officially seal our Treaty of Friendship. Is it going well? Well, I wish I could say it were going better. I can imagine. That Heracles monstrosity kind of made the Union really not like the Empire. Yes. And now, prominent members of the Empire are voicing their doubts regarding the Friendship Treaty. The conditions the Don gave the Empire were for a treaty of equality, after all. And they are certainly not on equal footing with something like that. Yes. Had I known about Heracles beforehand, I could have stopped them, but... You didn't know about that thing? You're in line to be Emperor! I know, but I have no authority over the Imperial Knights. The Imperial Knights act on orders from the Emperor alone. They do not report to anyone else. Well then, it's easy. Just become Emperor. You mean... Becoming Emperor isn't as simple as that. Why not? To ascend to the throne, one must possess the Imperial treasure, Dane Nomos. But Dane Nomos went missing around the time of the Great War, ten years ago. Huh. So that's the real story why we still don't have an Emperor. And that's why Rago wanted to get his hands on Dane Nomos. What was that, Yuri? Forget it, it's nothing. Anyway, is it really okay for an Imperial candidate to be wandering the streets like yeah, this? Yeah, Yuri can't really mention that too much because then it would make it obvious that he killed Rigo. I was just on my way to Heliord. Huh, that is closer to Dongress than this place is. Negotiations would probably go smoother there. I believe so too. Master Yoder, we should be off. If you'll please excuse me. Across the sea in Hilar, I heard tell from a traveling merchant of a miraculous young lady who made flowers grow from a dead tree. It sounds a bit fishy to me, but the barrier blastio was repaired. The two barrier blastia of this city and Nor Harbor were originally a single blastia. Did you read that in one of your books back in the castle? Yes. Actually, there were three pieces. The last piece sunk in the sea between the two cities. I wonder if you could raise that Blastia, and if you sold it, you could live like a king forever. The Empire would have already done it if they could. Any idiot could come up with that idea. You don't have to be mean about it. Any more pending cutscenes or skits? Well, this game likes to have skits show up very, very unexpectedly. Our regular liner, the Stratos, is currently being dismantled and inspected. Shoot. Huh? Against that many? You've got to be crazy! 
I wouldn't do that even if I had nine lives. What's going on? Halt! If you won't do the work I've paid you for, then I want my money back. Add the indigo beasts to the blacklisted guilds. Yes, Madam President. Isn't that the woman we met at Dayton Hold? Yeah, that's her, all right. Well, why do you guys know her? We just met her once a while back. Is she a friend of yours? I wouldn't say I know her. She's the president of Fortune's Market, one of the five master guilds. In other words, she's one of the top dogs at the Union. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea! What's up, Carol? Maybe she could get a boat for us to take across to Desier. How much would that cost us, though? I'm sure she's gonna charge us at least six digits. Well, if it isn't Mr. Yuri Lowell, you've come at just the right time. Huh, I guess those wanted posters really do work. Listen, I've got a job that would be just perfect for you. Hard labor, huh? I like a man who can cut to the chase. As you may have heard, schools of mermen often attack cargo ships at this time of year. Huh? But I thought there was another guild that always served as your escort. It seems the leader of the mercenary guild I hire passed away suddenly, so they aren't available. The other guardian guild simply has no backbone. I don't know what to do. What was the name of that guardian guild you mentioned? The Blood Alliance. Oops. Gee, I wonder what could have happened to them. You're all as guilty as I am. Hate to disappoint you, but we're in the middle of something right now, so... See you around. Wait, Yuri, what about the boat? Hmm? Did you say boat? We've made a guild of our own. We're called Brave Vesperia! That's a wonderful name. Well then, shall we talk business? Mutual gain is one of the basics of all business, you know. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sorry, but like I said, we're in the middle of a job. We can't take on anything else right now. We won't call it business then. Let's just say we'll cooperate as two guilds helping each other out. That way we won't be going against any guild principles. There are various incentives for getting along with me, you know. Um, well... All right, we can talk, but we need to go to Nordopolica. We can't afford any detours. Fine with me. The mermen are only a problem in the waters near here. As long as I get to another port, I'm good. Once we arrive, I won't have any trouble making arrangements with another ship. Wow, she means business. So, do Literally. we have a deal? I have the sinking feeling we just got tricked into something. Fortune's Market isn't known as the best group of salesmen under the sun for nothing. This isn't so bad. Now we have a way to cross over to Desier. I'll even throw in a bonus for all of you. Bonus? What do you mean? If we arrive safely in Nordopolica, I'll give you the boat we use to get there. Really? The boat looks pretty beat up, but it's still a good deal. Right? So these mermen must be pretty tough customers if you're willing to part with the boat. I'll leave that to your imagination. I figured as much. Marvelous. We have a contract, then. Now that we've settled the details, I'd like you to get to work right away. Just let me know when you've made your preparations. Ready? Yes. This is the Fiertia. She'll be your ship as soon as you've escorted her to Nordopolica. And this man is Tokunaga of Gullsong, a maritime guild affiliated with Fortune's Market. I'm Tokunaga. Very nice to meet you. He's only on board for this voyage, so next time be sure to hire your own pilot. We're not in a hurry, but these are important negotiations, so I really appreciate the help. What is the ship's cargo? That's confidential information. It's nothing we should be worried about, is it? Relax. We've got it covered. All right. Head towards Nordopolica. Go directly southwest from Torum Harbor and you'll see the Desier Continent. Nordopolica is at the eastern edge. I hope you won't mind if I go over the Fiertia's controls for you. You can only disembark from the ship where you see a dock, a port, or a beach. You won't be able to get onto land where there are cliffs. Of course, the ship can't pass over rocks, but you'll also have to keep her out of the shallows around islands. 
You might be able to take her into some rivers if they're deep enough. However, if there's a bridge spanning the river, you won't be able to take her under. We wouldn't want to clip off our mast. Hmm. Left stick to move. I can enter board land, etc. Hmm. Similar to the world it. map controls. Uh, why are you moving by yourself? Okay. We just started out and we're already working with one of the five master guilds. This is good. Yeah. You're one step closer to making your dream a reality, Carol. Aren't you happy? You talking to the kid? He's over there mumbling about something. Merman. The first thing had to be Merman. Brave Vesperia has some bad luck. What's the president of Fortune's Market gonna think of us if we fail? This is bad. This is so bad. I don't think he's very happy. He's just being careful, that's all. That's not being careful. That's running and hiding. Hmm. Where to go first? Can I go back to Dongrest? Uh... Damn it. It's a barrier in the way. Shit, I really needed to because... Ugh. No bridges. I really It'll need to nice find. Don't run into the merman, won't I it? really need to find the tough lever. Hmm, that's pretty wishful thinking. You're quite the pessimist for your age, girly. I'm just a realist. Anyway, thanks for your help. Looks like we're gonna make it there on time. Yeah, Leviathan's claw was going to beat us there if we hadn't found an escort for the ship. Leviathan's claw, huh? That's a name I seem to be hearing a lot lately. Oh. They're the guild that's specializing in sales of Hopeland Blastia. Oh, that explains the situation in Heliord. Lately, they've been trying to steal our clients from us. If we weren't able to cross the sea, they would have swiped up another one of our major customers. Still, you can't help but wonder where those slime balls are getting their product from. Indeed. Hopeland Blastia isn't exactly the easiest thing in the world to get one's hands on. You don't think the Empire is behind this? No, that couldn't be. It's mages that are supervising the Blastia distribution. Ah, oh, right on time. Everyone, be careful! It's a lot. Ugh, the world's spinning. I think I'm getting seasick. What? Is that Patty? Did that monster just say something? Did you get eaten by a monster? That voice sounds familiar. Well, well, aren't you a chatty monster? Let's work together! Fred a fish. Huh. Now this is my start! <laughs> 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 Oh man. Shining face! Seriously, I can never get off crushing eagle in time. Oh my goodness. If this was hard mode, I don't think I could win. Okay, one down. Die. Delays, ready to go. Just let him do it. Yeah, I feel. These are the. 
Okay, we're gonna get Patty out of there or what? You're true to your reputation. I was right to bring you along. I tell you, Brave Vesperia doesn't have any shame in working an old man down to the bone. Even while I'm looking for Apatheia and doing all sorts of other things. Apatheia? Isn't that what you were looking for back in Nor Harbor? That's right. That's nothing but a fairy tale. I researched it a while back, but eventually I realized that there's simply no way it can theoretically exist. I'm well aware people think it's a fairy tale. Why are you looking for it? Well, because the Don told me to. It's still alive! Come on, barf her out. Kick in the stomach or something. Patty! How did she survive? a pleasant voyage. Can you really call it a voyage when you're in a monster's belly? What are you doing all the way out here? I was hunting for treasure when I fell into the ocean, but a nice monster came to play with me. Oh, I'm glad you didn't become part of a complete breakfast. This is all well and good, but can we get the ship back on course? Yeah, sure. Ah! What more? So that wasn't all of them. <sighs> I've healed him, but he should still rest for a while. Well, this is a real problem. I don't suppose any of you know how to pilot a ship. I can do it! Patty, you can? If you're gonna travel around the world, you'd better be able to at least pilot a ship. Then I'd like to ask you to be in charge of piloting this vessel. You gotta be kidding me. Ah, of course. We've made much better time than I thought. We could even afford to make a side trip or two. I'll leave the course up to you. With a ship, we can go practically anywhere we want. Estelle, I know you want to look for Pharaoh. But don't you think we have more important things to do for the moment? Do you think? I'll do what I want. Don't worry about me. We just started our guild. We should err on the safe side, don't you think, Carol? Yeah. All right. And feel free to give me directions about our course. Okay. Let's save before I... I can't save on here, really? Yeah, let's just take a pit stop real quick. Okay, stay at the inn. Some kind of cutscene happened. The, the inn in Kapua Noor. Let's go. One, two, bam. What the heck? Is he having a nightmare about the... Monster? Captain Carol, you rock! Carol, you drove away that monster all by yourself. You're amazing! No wonder they say you'll be the next Don in the ten years. Heck, this actually is a, a sort of side quest. What? I'm impressed, Carol. I just wanted to heal my hit points, and they suddenly gave me this weird dream of Carol being brave. I'm no match for you. No, no, don't be so modest. I wouldn't have been able to do it without all your support. Thank you, everyone. I couldn't have done it without you. Carol. Carol, brother. Please, come back to the Hunting Blades. Carol, brother, no one else can take the Chief's place but you. The Hunting Blades need you. Really? What should I do? But you have Brave Asperia. I already left the guild once. Carol, you're going to betray us? Yeah, didn't you promise to start a guild with us? Did I? Carol, please. Carol, brother, what are you going to do? Merge the two guilds? Carol. Um, I, I don't know. He's gonna wake up on the floor or something. Yup. Ow. It was a dream? What a nice dream. We could all be having nice dreams so you'd be quiet. Heh. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that was weird. I found this point that where you can actually farm some Rhino Horn Tough Lever. Unfortunately, the enemies here look kind of strong. Uh. Huh. Okay, the guide said I need to go here for a side quest. Hoomp, you mean to tell me you defeated a green menace? Yeah, we ran to it while we were traveling. Somehow we ended up fighting it. You have my links. We didn't fight the monster to help you. We just happened to run to it by chance. Even still, thank you. Take this at least. Menace T. Alright, if you've given up on trying to beat them yourself, then don't agree with relying on others to do your work for you. Well, don't worry about it. Hey. Hmm. So you're looking at that sword again, the one that belongs to someone you respect? This sword belonged to His Highness Regent, the brother of the Empire, uh, Emperor. Regent, isn't that the King of Adventure you mentioned earlier, the one you named your inn after? A while back, His Highness led an expedition to the wilderness. It was called the Regent Expeditionary Force. My father was a member of that force. So, this, uh, the, so is the Expeditionary Force still active? You don't know? You haven't heard what happened? Sorry, I'm not too knowledgeable about famous historical figures. The Regent Expeditionary Force sought to defeat the world's giganto monsters, but they were annihilated. Ah, uh, Carol mentioned something about that. So you sought to avenge your father? To avenge my father? No, it's nowhere near that noble. If I defeat the giganto monsters, I can finally go back to my hometown. At least that's what I plan on doing. But these days we've been reduced to mere wanderers. What's so bad about that? I must defeat the giganto monsters, otherwise we'll never be free. The giganto monsters means too much to you to be able to enjoy the wandering life, eh? I see. Do you have a good night's rest? Have a good day. Have heard that one of the giganto monsters has been slain. As far as we know, ten still left. In the very center of Elysia, Chimera Butterfly lives in a garden hidden in the forest. Yeah, I think I saw that one. In the southern part of Tobisia, the brutal lurks deep in the cl a close up forest. On the continent of Desier, the Medusa Butterfly lives in the land of scorching waves with yellow sand. On the continent of Desier, below the central mountains, within a deep hole lives the Hermit Drill. On Desier, the Patero Bronk makes its home in the barren mountain range in the northwest. On the continent of Hypionia, the Bolsus lives, lives within the sacred land of the Critia. On the continent of U Eurzoria, the griffin can be found in a certain field. The bloody beak dwells somewhere along the cliffs of Wekia. We don't know where any other giganto monsters are yet, but we'll definitely find them. That is all. That is a lot. So many boss tiers, monsters that could kick my ass. It took me... I had to have Flynn the party to beat the last one. Oh, yeah. So there's something to do in Halur, apparently. Go to the... Uh, talk to someone standing near the inn. Uno, due, tre, quattro. No, it's too di uh, difficile to do by myself. What to do? What to do? What's that? That guy's the definition of creepy. Yeah, maybe we ought to just keep on moving. Oh, buongiorno. You came at a good time. What's with this guy? My name's Sicily. Piacere. Uh, pleased to meet you too. Estelle, you're only encouraging him. I have to say, I'm having a piccolo problema. Do you, you think you could help me? Eh, you want us to help you? What is it that you want help with? Well, signorina, I've been counting these, the petals that fall from this tree, but it's a bit d a difficult to do alone. Well, about time we hit the old dusty trail. Good idea. Espeta, please, wait, why don't you help me? This guy's pretty annoying. All you need is someone to help. Even that signor would suffice. Per favor? Oh, me? And what do you mean, even that sign uh, signor, uh, signore? What are you trying to, to insinuate? 
All right, Raven, we're counting on you. Yeah, and make it fast, okay? I still don't really know what's going on, but uh, good luck. Um, I guess it's okay. The old man will get things done. He's re a real go-getter. Bene, molto bene. So, signore, you go and look over that way. Hold on just a second. I still haven't said I'd help at all. It'll be easier if you just give up a uh, given and accept your fate, old man. Yeah, and make it snappy, would you? Erg. How do I get to talking to these things? How do you count every petal? That seems insane. I counted all of them. From here all the way over there, there's 97,201 petals in all. See, I thought it'd be something like that. Grazier. Did you even just make that number up? What the hell's all this for anyway? Oh, Senora, I cannot tell you that. It's a secret. A secret, huh? Whatever, I'm going to go now. Espera, Senora, your name, what, what is it? Raven. Raven, you did a good job today. I'm sure good luck will come your way. You can talk normally? Arrivederci. Good luck coming my way. That'd be nice. a nice change. Hey, I just, I just realized something. Learned Arrivederci. I'm a pretty complex guy. An intermediate wind spell. About time you learn something of that tier. Okay, now they want me to go to the base of the giant tree. And talk to the kids. They said some lady's body is buried under this tree. Yeah, I heard her, I heard she was the wife of some emperor a long time ago. No, uh, I heard that she died before the wedding, so she wasn't his wife. Whatever, it's scary, but I think it's true. Yeah, Halur's flowers are so cool. It's hard to believe something weird like that happened. This explains what's making us feel so funny about this tree. Excuse me, you know, that story's not actually true. No, uh the mayor told it to us. What the heck was that old man thinking anyway? And what about this? Oh, what a lovely veil. Where'd you get that? A white shadow, like a ghost dropped it. You're not saying that the white shadow was the ghost of the dead bride? No way, there's no such thing as ghosts and curses. It's true. No, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'm sure that veil was just dropped by someone in your village. The mayor went around and asked everybody, and it didn't belong to anybody. Maybe a traveler. There's no way, it's just not true, okay? This girl is really scary. Let's get out of here. Oh, you forgot this. Rita. I'm sorry. What should I do with this? Throw it away. The kids don't want something as ominous as that, I'm sure. But I don't think it seems all that ominous. I actually think it seems more holy. I think I've taken a liking to it. Do you mind if we take it with us? Alright, if you get cursed, it's your own fault. I thought you said there's no such thing as curses. Shut up, Yuri. It's an attachment. And it can be equipped to most of my party members. I wonder if there's an explanation that's more holy. Seems like there's something more beautiful to all this. Like someone tried to get married here or something? Hmm. They say there's a quest here. There you are, you finally got here. Hey, time's a waste and come on, hurry along now. Huh, who, me? Who else does it look like I'm talking to? Youngsters these days, showing up late first day on the job. Um, I think you've got the wrong person. Well, let me tell you something. Cleaning the warehouses is a wonderful job. Don't you think any... Don't you think any less of it? Um, uh... Alright, let's get going now. Wait! Uh, um, uh, Carol went off with someone. Shouldn't we stop him? Uh, just let him be. Help clean the warehouse. Move crates to make a path to collect the kinds of the free treasure chest. If you fail to collect all the chests before time runs out, you won't be able to enter the warehouse again? Oh shoot, I didn't even save, did I?
And then we put two up here. Three go here. Four here. Five here. Six here. Seven here. Eight. Hmm. Um. Had to look for a guide for this one, that's for sure. Limit bottle. Cleared. Okay. Never have to do it again. I'm really sorry. Who would have thought you were someone else? I told you so. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Terribly sorry. I heard from your friends. Please accept my apologies in the form of payment for your hard work. Be more careful next time. What do you think? That was great. For Brave Asperia, wasn't it? Yuri, what are you saying? Now we have more items and money. Just think of it as being part of a guild's work. It's good exposure for the guild, right? Paid in exposure. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, if you put it that way, you were worried we didn't have enough to do, right? Well, there's your solution. Let us know if there's anything else we can do. Gotcha, I'll let the boss know. We're counting on you. I'm so hungry. I'm dying here. Already? The girls look like they're doing fine. Oh. Was that Estelle? Listen, her stomach's rumbling too! I can wait, though it's been a little difficult. Hmm? That sounded like it came from Rita. Judy, you too? Are you trying to see who can hold out the longest? Perhaps a diet is a little bit like a competition in holding out. A diet? What do you need a diet for? Especially you, Rita. Lose any more weight and you'll... I'm just waiting until I finish reading this book, okay? Okay, unfortunately there are other warehouse quests I have to do. Fortunately, someone posted a, 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 a link to some maps for them, so I am not totally screwed. Okay, so there's some kind of side quest for Rapide in the harbor. What's the matter, Rapide? Whoa! 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 That's your former nemesis. Say again? That's the dog Yuri was talking about, who used to rule over all of the dogs and cats in the capital. Yeah, it's the little wolf. It's been a while, old man. I don't think I've forgotten how you drove me out of the capital like a common stray. We sold everything fair and square in battle. You have no right to still hold the grudge. You had to go and take pity on me. Why didn't you just kill me when you had a chance? I haven't sunk as low as to raise a paw against a defeated loser. Me, a loser? You filthy mutt. I still never lost to you in person. So you wanted to fight Mano a Mano. You catch on quick. No, f physical confrontation wouldn't be a fair fight. It has to be a marking battle. What do you mean? It's a battle to see which of us can mark more places that we go as our own territory. A battle spanning the whole globe. Hmm, sounds pretty interesting. You sure you'll be able to keep up? That's my line. Sit around on your ha haunches and I'm gonna leave you in the dust. Hmm, for Pete will catch up with him in no time. Yeah, I hope so. How long are they going to be doing it? Huh? Oh, repeat, you're finished? Whoa. Where do you go off to, cell? Here you go, Carol. What's this? You can use this to make notes of all the places where Repeat marks his territory. Huh? You want me to do it? Marking where he peed. 
This, uh, this sort of thing is what Kevin Carroll does best. What? We're counting you. Marking map. When you camp, that region of the field map is marked as repeats territory. They say there's no hurry to do this quest, though. Marked dog maps are available from the world map in the menu. Big Boss marks his territory in the same way. Be careful not to lose. Are you sure it's uh, it's unlosable? Uh, maybe there's some places where the Big Boss cannot reach, and therefore it's impossible for him to win. This is so weird. Why do we have to mark everything? I'm guessing the flag means I, it's been marked or something. Yeah. Saved him right for this next warehouse. Excuse me, but will you happen to be the bravest barrier? Uh, yes, we are. I have a bit of a favor to ask of you. Will you mind helping me tidy up this warehouse? We're a bit short on help at the moment, and it would mean a lot if you could lend us a hand. We'll pay you for your work, of course. Hmm. No problem. Leave it to, uh, up to us. Thank you very much. Let's get started. Hmm. Okay, so, uh... Yellow's original location. Wait, do I have to use my my sorcerer ring here? So, uh, I see. It'll raise in lower boxes. Okay, this is weird. It says box two is upstairs. I s and I can use that to move around, I see. Okay, they say to push this over. So I can't really form pathways here very easily, can I? I'm reliant on these blocks here to pro for these pathways, right? Yeah, that's probably it. Since pushing these down would just cause them to fall onto the bottom floor and that could cause things to get screwed up for me. Yes, it's right here now. Here. We hmm. number three. Hmm. Let me check on the status of number three before going for number four. Okay, number three is here now. Is it? Let me check. I'm not sure. Puzzle, no, number three must have filled in that gap right there. I see. Number four. Push it up. I hope I didn't screw this up. This map's gonna be a little bit confusing. That gives me free reign to, put, to deal with number five. Number five has to go north. Why the heck does a warehouse even have all these blastias in it? Right, number six is located on the top floor right now. It's number six right here. Power light. Hmm. Hmm. 
It seems number seven must be pushed to the left. What, what to do with number eight? Number eight goes on this one down here near the chest. Probably head back down to see what's going on. Oh no, did I block myself? Hmm. 13 I can't do anything about yet. Yeah, not, not enough room for 13. Should be a block I missed here. Hey, okay, nine has to go way up. Hope I don't screw this up. Nine must go right under thirteen. There we go. Where is number 10? 10 push down. Is that right? It landed right behind the chest. I think that's good. Well, lottery gel. Now, number thirteen. Take us. Fourteen is supposed to go up. Get fifteen next to fourteen. Have to form a bridge for everything to move in place.
we get back to the higher floor. I don't understand this part very well. Okay, 16. I think 16 was meant to fill in the gap. Yeah. This one, I think. No, 17, I need to get across to, to fill in the final gap. I don't think I could figure this out without a guide. If I had screwed that up, I'd have to start the whole thing over, wouldn't I? Golden Horn. Thank you so much. It's not much, but please accept this as a token of our appreciation. Thank you. Brave Asperia is at your service. Any skit for completing this quest? Hmm. Okay, so they say I need to look for that guy who taught me the Riva Dershi skill at art. Could he be? He's over here. Oh, Juana Sarah, how are you, my Misi? Apparently we're his friends now. Erg, it's him again. This is this is the guy we met back in the lure. What are you doing here, sir? Oh wait, I was just watching the sunset over the sea. Just watching the sunset, really? See, si, Signorina, perhaps all of us can watch it together. Especially Signor Raven. For him, I'm sure something like this is perfetto. He's calling you out, old man. Hey, how did I get brought into all this again? Well, we'll be waiting for you back at the end. Hey, yeah, good luck. Good luck, she says. What the heck am I supposed to be doing? You can do nothing. That's it. Just look out to sea. Look out at the sea. Oh, Raven. Mio Amico. Is that a Bodhi Blastia? Uh, oh yeah, I can use this to learn weapon skills. Hmm. You know, I hear Bowie Blastia can be used to learn arts even without the weapons equipped. Really? You don't say. In Affinity, they say that weapon skills are buried deep under a person's skin. And the weapons are nothing more than a key to bring them out, or so I hear. Hmm, you sure know a lot about these things. Well, they are just rumors. I cannot say for certain, but... I see. Well, I must go. Be well. A reverter sheet. I don't really get that guy. Oh, what's this? Vacant skill? Twilight Dreamer title. How in the- I get a feeling there's more than meets the eye with that weirdo. Vacants. Increases max hit point occasionally if battle is won without attacking any enemies. What? So basically if I send him to do absolutely nothing, he might be able to increase his max hit points, but... I'm pretty sure everyone can reach a cap with enough leveling anyways, so I'm not sure if this is really a useful skill. Hmm. So I can go back to Zaphius now. Hmm. That's the entrance I'm supposed to use from now on, I guess. Hey. Is it supposed to be a dog I have to talk to? What? 
Bark. Woof woof. Bark woof. I wonder what they're talking about. Yeah, me too. You too, Yuri. I thought you understood what repeat means when you use sparking. When did I ever say that? Oh, that dog ran off. But don't you interpret what repeat says, says sometimes? Now, I'm, I've just been saying whatever I think he might be thinking at the time. Really? I'm not so sure. Do I really look like a dog whisperer to you? Oh, he came back. Hey, the puppy came and brought someone for the pup. Friendship Furball. What is it? Looks like the little wolf's fur. Oh, I see what's going on. The pups are having a territory marking competition. Right, and with that fur, Repeat will be able to use his sense of smell to figure out where l the little wolf is. Oh, I see. The dog went and brought back some fur that had been left in town. Well, this, not even your rival's a match for you, right, pup? Woof. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Nora, come down from th there. What's the matter? Our dear Nora is stuck up there and she won't come down. No. Meow. Meow. No. Meow. Rita. Oh, Nora moved. Hey, why were you meowing like that, Rita? Can you speak cat? I've got to go after her. Oh, go too. What's gotten into those two? You don't think Rita was actually talking to that cat, do you? No way. Parted with them? So now they're in the main square. Oh, I see them. Meow. No, no, you've got it all wrong. Meow. 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 Hey, Yuri, what's going on? Some sort of ritual, maybe. Ah, uh, she's getting away. Oh, we'll be able to get... We'll be able to get where she's going faster if we cut through the Royal Quarter. Got it. Hey, wait up! Those squirrels are crazy. Hey, do you think Rita might like cats, maybe? Looks like she's crazy about them to me. Go to the noble quarters to find them one more time. Are they? Are they all the way at the uh, at that house? It's Rita. And the other little lady. Let's go have a look. <laughs> Got her cornered. Meow. Meow. No, but at this rate, that cat's gonna get away. Meow. Where'd she come from? No. Got her. Thank you so much. No. Meow. Make sure you don't let her run away again. No. Meow. What's all this meowing mean anyway? I don't get it. You did well, Estelle. Hey, it was a team effort. Where'd you come from back there, Estelle? Where I met, where I come from? I just went around the back, and then I got in for the second story window. The second story window? You climbed all the way up there? Hey, that's not half bad, Estelle. Well, it was your idea to use a pincer technique, Rita. But it was your idea to come up in from a back exit, ex ex Estelle. Well, that was only because I was so moved by your selfless desire to help that nice lady get her cat back. Who, me? Nah, I was just doing it for fun. It's okay, Rita. You don't have to pretend. You're a good person. I can tell. No, you've got me all wrong. Well, I guess it's not worth arguing about. If Rita's a good person, what does that make us sell? You all can be good in their own ways, I think. Couldn't have said it better myself. You guys are so full of it.
There's supposed to be one more scene in the nobles' quarters. Ah, you there, in black. Yes, you. I've been looking for you. Is this a friend of yours? I don't exactly have very many nobles for friends. Present company accepted, of course. You've got a bounty on you, right? Looks like you've got another fan, Yuri. Let's get out of here. No, please, wait. I'm not going to turn you in. Please, listen to what I have to say. The Imperial Knights will show up if he keeps yelling like that. I know. Look, I'll hear you out. Just keep your voice down. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. My name is Shell, and uh, you would be Yuri? In the flesh. Actually, I've come to you precisely because of your bounty. Please, can you find my brother? What does Yuri's bounty have to do with your brother? Well, my brother just can't let criminals go, so I fought that with a bounty on your, on your head. So, to get this straight, you want to use Yuri as bait to lure your brother out into the open. That's a bit of a harsh way of saying it, but essentially, yes. Sorry, find yourself another sucker. Yuri, wait. You haven't been able to find your brother. No, I haven't heard from him ever since we left the capital three years ago. He left on a journey to do great deeds and become famous. He used to be in the Knights, but he couldn't get famous, even after many brave deeds. So, yeah, unless your superior officers happen to be really nice, they'll take all the credit for anything you do. Why was your brother so concerned about making a name for himself? His girlfriend's father said that he wouldn't allow their marriage unless he became famous. He told him, The man who marries my daughter must be known throughout the world for his righteous deeds. So then, what is your brother's girlfriend doing now? She's still waiting for him to return. Her father has since passed away, so there's no one left to oppose her marriage. So if your brother comes back, they can get married. Yuri. So here we go again. There's no guarantee he won't try to kill me. I would even be happy with just some information about my brother's whereabouts. His name is Clay. Clay, got it. We'll look for him. Hmm. Now I have to go to the west, uh, the west and look for him again? There he is. Got any cl more clues? Ah, uh, Yuri, have you found any clues as to my brother's whereabouts? No, nothing yet. I see. It's pretty hard to look for him when all we have is the name, Clay, to go by. Well then, please go and meet Lune. She's my brother's girlfriend. You should be able to find her with the children in the citizen's quarter. Okay, let's go and have a look. Is that someone else? Yeah, they're just generic noble models. Okay, so look for uh, someone sitting on a bench. You, maybe? No. Hey, won't you join the Flynn Defense Force, too? Hey, I'm the founder of the Flynn Defense Force, you know? Sounds like a Flynn fan club. Hey, Yuri! Where in the lower quarter do you sleep? It's not under a bridge or something, is it? What do you think I am? <sighs> Alright, so where did you live? I stayed at an inn after I left the Imperial Knights. The innkeeper is really nice and said I could stay there if I didn't have anywhere else to go. I'm finally starting to get a real image of you living in the lower quarter. Yeah, I could just see you bumming around down there. Gee, thanks. <sighs> One of the people sitting on the benches... It was you! Oh, Yuri, fancy me seeing you here. I could say the same for you. I wouldn't have ever expected to see you together with a noblewoman. This is Miss Lune. She comes and reads books to the kids every now and then. Ah, oh, so you're Lune. How do you know my name? Shell told me about you. Oh, I see. The children have told me quite a few things about you too, Yuri. Looks like you're the talk of the capital. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you could tell me how I might be able to find your boyfriend, Clay. You're looking for Clay? Shell asked you to do this, didn't he? Yes, we'll find him for you, I promise. Just be patient. Thank you, but you needn't try too hard. I'd be glad if Clay came back, but I'm happy enough as it is. Are you sure? Yes, now that I know how nice it feels to have someone who's always there for me. I see. Well, I'm very thankful for your kindness. Ah oh, yes, Yuri, you're a swordsman, correct? Perhaps you could use this. This book was my father's. He was a famous swordsman with the Imperial Knights. 
He had many disciples, but none of them were able to master the technique. What do you think? Can you do it? Maybe like this? That's our Yuri. Wow, got on your first try. That's amazing. You truly have a rare gift with the sword, Yuri. No, it's nothing. No, it's very impressive for you to su have succeeded where all of his disciples failed. As a show of my gratitude for your kindness, you may have this book. I hope that it will be useful to you. Tiger Blade. Tiger Blade is one of the simplest arts, though. It's just, it's basically an up-down slash, so Yuri added in a third hit. You really think it's okay if we don't look for Clay? I don't know. Shell seemed pretty worried about him. Let's search for him a little more. Tiger Blade. Go up and then down. I wonder how damage efficient it is. Okay, so I somehow got this skit just by grinding a shit ton. Anymore. I'm seriously gonna starve! Can I eat a gel? No. <sighs> Does the pooch look a little scary to anyone else? Oh, he's probably just hungry enough for his wild instincts to kick in. <sighs> the pooch isn't the only one about to go wild. I'm no good at diets, seriously. This isn't a diet, it's a fast! Why do we have to stop eating too? We can't have delicious smells just wafting by. We're just as hungry as you are. Ah, uh, what a tyrant. Yeah, if you fight enough battles without cooking any food, they'll do. Uh, they'll start saying stuff like that. Asking you to feed them. Guilting you. Oh yeah, I'm still trying to master Azure Wolf Strike. I gotta get the 300 so that it'll have pick-me-up effects. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.